Hey, hey, hey! What's up, guys? Today, we're gonna explode some myths about money that we've all believed at some point in our lives. Yeah, you heard it right. Most of the conventional wisdom around money is just plain wrong. You know what really grinds my gears? Listening to people regurgitate these old, stale ideas about money like it's the be-all and end-all of life without knowing a damn thing about it. But you know what? If you watch this video till the end, you'll be smarter than your friends who still think that money comes from trees. Let me tell you something, folks. These so-called money experts who pass off cliched advice without any research or facts are just full of garbage. They probably heard it from someone else who heard it from their great-grandma's uncle, and then they made it their entire personality. But not you, you smart cookie! You are here today to learn the truth about money. So, I'm gonna give you not one, not five, but ten myths that you need to forget about. Think of it like a cleansing of your brain cells. Listen up, because these are the hot tips of the day. You ready? Here we go. Number 10. Rich people are all crooks and evil overwhelmingly. Let's get one thing straight, shall we? The notion that all rich folks are crooks and evil is overwhelmingly false. Listen up, because this is important. The idea that the only way to generate wealth is through exploitation, slave labor or trickery, is a relic from the past. I mean, come on! We're living in 2021, where doctors, lawyers and software engineers are all doing pretty well. And it's not all about being Forbes 500 rich either. The most common way to build wealth is by being your own boss, baby. Yup, that's right. Being an entrepreneur is where it's at. You have a killer idea, you create jobs for people, and you build a business out of it. That's how you create a win-win situation, folks. Here's the kicker, people. If your idea solves a problem that people are willing to pay for, you could be raking in some serious dough. And get this! It's not a freaking other people into giving you their money! That's just absurd. The marketplace is the one that decides whose idea and execution is valuable. So, let's break it down, shall we? You could either trade your money in exchange for someone's expertise, network and effort, or you could buckle up and do it yourself, with your own idea. It's about changing your perception, about how easy wealth is generated by providing value for others. Number nine, you get rich by saving your money. Listen up, folks. You don't get rich by saving your money? I repeat, you don't get rich by saving your money? That's another one of those things that poor people borrowed from the rich without proper context. Saving money allows you to stay rich once you've already made it to the top. But here's the real kicker, guys. Saving money does not move you up! I know, I know. This might be a massive wake-up call to most of you who believe in the idea of wealth as an outcome of accumulation. But I'm here to tell you, it couldn't be further from the truth. Here's the deal, folks. You get rich by earning money while you're not working. Yeah, you heard it right. This doesn't happen through savings, baby. It happens through smart investment strategies that allow your money to work for you. So, what's the takeaway here, guys? Saving money is not the ultimate solution to becoming filthy rich. It's about being smart with your investments having a killer idea that solves people's problems and creating more sources of passive income that do the work for you while you sit back and enjoy the fruits of your labor. So, are you ready to take action and level up your finances? The choice is yours, guys. But I highly recommend you start thinking outside the box and find ways to earn money without working around the clock. Remember, work smart, not just hard. Number eight, the more money you have, the happier you'll be. So, here's the deal, people. Money can make you happy, up until a certain point. That point, according to research, is around the $100,000 per year in earnings mark. That's right, once you hit that threshold, more money won't necessarily translate into more happiness. But 
Hold on, guys. That doesn't mean money is useless. For people who struggle with money problems, earning more can definitely alleviate some of their unhappiness. It can increase comfort and take away stress, but there's a catch, guys. More cash doesn't actually make you happy. It just removes some of the barriers in your life that cause misery. Once those barriers are removed and you're still not happy, then you are faced with a different set of problems that money can't solve. What's that, you might ask? Well, it's the law of diminishing returns, baby. Let me explain it to you guys. Imagine you have a box of infinite chocolates in front of you. The first chocolate is amazing. The second one is also fantastic, but a little bit less than the first. Cut to 50 pieces of chocolate later, and you're already full and tired of eating chocolate. That's the money trap, guys. Once you've reached that threshold of happiness, more money won't make a big difference in your life satisfaction. Number seven, if you want to get rich, you need a big salary. Here's what most people get wrong, guys. They confuse professional status with wealth. A high-level lawyer or doctor is respected in society and has garnered esteem from their fellow citizens because normal people need their specialized services in dire time. But guess what, guys? This artificially inflates their perceived worth. It's like a bottle of water being more valuable in the desert than in a supermarket. But what you don't see is that behind the scenes, the cost of living, that identity, is also going up. Let me break it down for you guys. That same lawyer lives in a city center in an overpriced apartment, drives an overpriced car, and pays too much for their suits and ties for things like memberships to country clubs and charity dinners. The cost of being a successful lawyer goes up proportionally with their income, and it's the same with most professions. But, guys, let me clear something up for you. If you want to be rich, it's not the salary that counts. Nope, not at all. You should be monitoring the amount of money you earn while you're not working. Yeah, you heard it right. Passive income, baby. That's where it's at. Number six, with high risk always comes a higher reward. The thing is, a lot of people think that being an entrepreneur means taking huge risks all the time, but that's simply not the case. In fact, the key to being a successful entrepreneur is to minimize risk as much as possible. You see, when you're well prepared and have a proven track record of success, it mitigates the risk involved in any endeavor you undertake. Kinda like how going for a swim is less risky if you're already a great swimmer. So, if you want to be a successful entrepreneur, the key is to focus on minimizing risk, not taking unnecessary chances. Because at the end of the day, risk is just a byproduct of the unknown, and the more prepared you are, the less unknown there is. Number five, you need to be rich to invest. A lot of people think that you need to be rich to invest, but that's only partially true. The fact of the matter is, you can invest at any income level. That's right, even if you're just starting out, you can invest and grow your wealth over time. You see, when most people think of investments, they think of factories or apartment buildings or digging for emeralds in the Congo. But the truth is, investing is a habit that can make you richer. Even something as simple as buying a share in Disney, which is only 100 bucks, can be a great way to start building your wealth. The key is to make investing a regular part of your routine. Set aside a portion of your income every month to go towards investing. Sure, it may seem like it's not much at first, but over time, those investments will grow and alleviate the potential pain in your life. Now I know what you're thinking. It's hard to invest a good portion of my income when I have urgent things that require immediate attention. And that's a valid concern. But the truth is, your only job is to increase your income gradually. And as a result, you'll be able to invest more and more over time. Number four, it takes money to make money. It doesn't really matter how much money you have to start with. It's all about the level of expertise and demand for the skills that you can offer. So, if you're really good at what you do, you can charge more for your services and make more money over time. Quality is key, guys. The better you are at what you do, the more you can charge for your services. 
and the fewer people there are offering the same services as you, the more clients you'll have. It's all about differentiation and competition. Now, the more time you're willing to trade, the more money you'll make. Let's take two barbers, for instance. If they have the same level of expertise and prices, the one who's willing to work longer hours and take on more clients will inevitably make more money. Number three, more money, more problems. Now, don't get me wrong. Being rich comes with its own set of challenges. But the thing is, even if the volume of problems you're dealing with remains roughly the same or is slightly lower, the nature of those problems changes. And at the very extremes, the magnitude of the problems is different. But here's the thing, guys. Being broke is hard too, and it comes with its own set of problems. Trust me, we grew up broke ourselves. And now that we have some money, we embrace the new set of problems we have. We would much rather figure out which bank to move forward with and deal with the existential dread we had at the beginning. We would much rather figure out ways to inspire our employees and worry about where the next payment is coming from. So, my advice to you guys is to embrace the problems you have right now in your life. Because someone else would definitely want to trade places with you. Instead of focusing on the negatives, focus on how you can use your current situation to improve and grow. Number two, money doesn't grow on trees. You see, money does grow on trees if you plant the right seeds. If you sell the fruit of the tree, ask anyone who's really invested in agriculture, it's all about planting the right seeds, providing them with great soil, attention and care. Sun, water, nutrients, protection from rodents and predators, and the occasional trimming of some branches. Even if you do everything right, it still takes several years before the tree bears fruit. Growing a tree is actually quite hard. But here's the thing, guys. You might want to reevaluate your reality and plant some seeds and just see what happens. Whether it's starting a new business or investing in stocks, the key to growing your money is to plant the right seeds and nurture them with attention and care. So my advice to you guys is to start planting those seeds and take the time to nurture them. It may take some time before you see any fruit, but if you keep at it, it's only a matter of time before the money starts coming in. Number one, time is money. Now, a lot of people say that time is money, but that's mostly false. Time is time and money is money. Just because sometimes you choose to trade one for the other doesn't mean they're the same or interchangeable. Let me give you an example, guys. Let's say we offered you $1 million, but you couldn't wake up tomorrow. Would you take it? Of course not. So waking up tomorrow is actually worth over $1 million to you. Yet people don't act like it. You see, time is one of the most valuable things we have, and it's irreplaceable. No matter how much money we have, we can't buy back time once it's gone. So it's important to make the most of the time we have and not take it for granted. Now that's not to say that money isn't important. It absolutely is. But it's all about finding the right balance between time and money. Making the most of your time can actually help you make more money in the long run. So my advice to you guys is to prioritize your time and find ways to make the most of it. Don't trade your time for just any amount of money. Instead, focus on building a life that allows you to make money while also enjoying the precious time you have. Hey guys, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. It's easy, just click the subscribe button and you'll receive notifications when I post something new. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and don't miss out on any of the fun.